What's up, guys? Get a little back for your daily vault. Uh, this one is called Off the Rails Rescue the Kidn Kidnapped Railroad Agent. Um, last time I talked about how to make caps in the game. I forgot a couple excuses for the burp there. Didn't mean that. Um, I forgot one good way to make caps in the game, if you're wondering, is to uh, send your dwellers out into the wasteland. Now, that's not the same as a quest. You basically click on one, drag it to the front of the of the uh, vault, and you send them out, and they'll they'll look for stuff. You know, you'll get you'll get caps, you'll get stim packs, right away. You'll get junk and other j junk. Um, you don't get a whole lot of caps with that. The most I've seen, I don't keep them out there a whole lot whole lot longer, but. Um, You'll get you'll get a few caps out of it. You get you know maybe two, three hundred, eight hundred if you leave them out there long enough. Thousand maybe. Uh, but anyway, we're gonna do this vault. Um, yeah. Uh, I got Butch here. He's wearing some power armor and he's got that Gatling gun and that boxer. I got Eulogy Jones again. He's one of my favorites actually. And I got a lower level watermelon Henriquez. Uh, real quick, when I've been naming my dwellers, I've been getting so many of them, I couldn't really think of regular names for them. And who wants to do that anyway? So I named the female uh, dwellers after uh, sweet or tasty foods, you know, like Pop Tarts and in this case watermelon. Uh, and I named all the males after salty snacks like beef jerky, Cheetos, Doritos, that sort of thing. I think I accidentally named a woman Doritos, but whatever. Um, also, uh, once I ran out of tasty foods I could think of, I started naming the women after plants, uh, like flowers, because that's what you do with women. You name them after flowers, like petunia. Everybody knows a petunia. Uh, and then the men after animals, like rhino and badger, and so on and so forth. This is Watermelon Henriquez. She's the lowest level. She's level 16 compared to 43 and 49. Uh, but I like to have like a lower level so I can level them up real quick while the two higher levels you know do do some stuff that is good for them or whatever uh, but anyway last time I talked about how to how to make caps this time I'm gonna how to uh, let you know how to make dwellers because as I already mentioned I have watermelon Henri Henriquez here uh, the easiest quite easiest way to make uh, make followers is simply to you know, uh, have a living quarters or a barracks. You can you can upgrade a living quarters to a barracks. I think it's called. Uh, and from there, you put a couple you put a couple ladies in there, and then you put one guy in there. And let's just say they make some babies. Now, what I did by accident, I was oh, there's some raiders. What I did by accident was I essentially found the guy who had the highest charisma in the sea. Like, Eulogy Jones would be great for it. Uh, but I found the guy that had the highest charisma in my vault. I put him in the barracks, or the living quarters. Uh, I think the living quarters, you can hold two people. Barracks, you can hold more, but I don't know. But anyway, um, I put... I can't remember his name. I think it was Brian something. One of the first people I started with. Uh, but I put him in, uh, in living quarters with five women. And every now and then, the little vault boy would pop up in the corner and give me a thumbs up. Because they were doing it. So essentially, this, this Brian guy, or whatever his name was, eventually slept with every woman in my vault. You know, good for him, right? And, you know, the, the women get pregnant. Keep in mind, uh, pregnant women in the game which makes sense I guess uh, as well as kids also making sense uh, they can't fight when you get raided but because uh, uh, you can't show a pregnant woman dying or a kid dying of course in a video game that's illegal um, but you know after after a while they you know, they get pregnant, then after a while they poop out the baby, and the baby's a kid, a child for a while. And they can't do anything with the child. They just use your resources and, and don't help them out. You know, like a real child. Uh, but you know, eventually they grow up and become a valued member of the vault, I guess. Hopefully valued, at least. 
that's that's left for your opinion if they're valued or not, I suppose. Um, now, what I did by accident is I kept, you know, this Brian guy mating with all the women, and I found out later that you can't, you know, uh, mate your. And I was telling my buddy Sean about this. You can't have your. You know, your dad mate with his, or you can't have a dad mate with his daughter, because that's, first of all, that's disgusting, so don't do that. Second of all, you know, you get all deformed babies, and you don't need that. It's hard enough living underground as it is, you don't need a kid with three legs, one arm, and an eye on his chin. If it's an extra eye on his chin, that's, that's alright, but if it's his only eye is on his chin, then it's, then it's an issue. But anyway, you can't uh, you can't mate with your children. So you know this guy who's been banging all the female dwellers in my vault, uh, which good for him because he had some he had the shortest refractory ref, ref, refractory period I guess the word, uh, of any person in the world because it would be like five minutes in between you know, baby making sessions so I had to you know put him back you know to do his menial job uh, you know get another guy in there and you know eventually rinse and repeat now what I did by accident is I kept doing that over and over and eventually kind of get overpopulated as it turns out, believe it or not, uh, and uh, eventually, and I'm at the limit in the game is 200 dwellers per vault, which is fine. That's enough, really. But when you reach the 200 dweller limit really fast, as fast as I did, uh, oh jeez, I thought it was done for. You didn't see the others, did you? They split us up. We're trying to get. The synths to safety when they took us. Others, what others? What do the raiders want with you? What are yeah? What are synths? That's what I want to know. What are synths? Androids from the institute. They deserve better than to be dragged off to the Atabla something. I got a fragment of something. I hate this place. So anyway, I I uh, populated my. Oh, I'm almost done shit, I better hurry up. I populated my, my vault quite fast, and I ran out of food, so, uh, you know, because more mouths to feed. Hey, Quantum Cola, I'll take it. Uh, more mouths to feed means, you know, more food you need. That rhymes so you know it's true. Uh, but when you don't have enough, like, diners and restaurants and gardens, don't worry, if you die, I'll tell the overseer you're a total hero. Yeah, so I don't oversee this right now, do I? I'm the overseer, by the way. But I ran out of food, and now my vault is in desperate need of food. So that's that's your easiest way and the most cost-efficient way to get dwellers in your in your vault. Another way is having a radio station. Now, with the radio station, you need people that have a high charisma, uh, and you have two options with the radio station. Uh, one, you can. Uh, broadcast your radio to the to the vault people the vault dwellers and what happens with them is you know it makes them happier which is good because they work harder and produce things faster uh, but whatever uh, then you can broadcast outside of the vault now when you broadcast outside of the vault it'll have a countdown on there I think it's like two hours or one hour or something like that and when that countdown reaches zero uh, you have a small chance of getting calling in a dweller. A dweller will be listening to the radio and is like, "Hey, I want to live there now." Um, another way, so you can do that. I would actually recommend always having four people with high charisma in there and always broadcasting outside of the vault all the time. You get a you get a, a dweller or two. Of course, you can get uh, legendary and special dwellers from boxes if you want. You know, the lunch boxes if you want to buy buy them. Uh, so there's that. That costs money, of course, real life money. Whereas the radio station just costs bottle caps, and the offspring just costs more food, as it turns out. 
Also, you can, once in a great while, not often, but once in a great while, you can get a dweller from a quest. And that's what happened in the last quest. I got somebody named Sarah Lyons, which I already have. Oops. Uh, but you can get an occasional dweller from quests. So that's how you can get dwellers in the game. If you're looking for more people, because you need them for the different jobs and the different resources and stuff like that. So there's your little tutorial on how to get dwellers. So I guess the vault's done. I rescued, rescued the kidnapped road, railroad agent. Uh, yes. I got a theme recipe fragment, a theme recipe fragment, and a theme... Re oh, wait. I got a Wasteland Doctor outfit. 2,100 caps and two Quantum Cola. Excellente. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching today's Daily Vault. Tune in tomorrow for more or next week, however it turns out to be, because I'm not sure which day I'm posting any of these on. But, uh, watch more in future, learn more in future, be happy more in future. Bye-bye.